This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Um, I just talked to the person who's uh, installing um, a, a noise-making anti-bird machine um, here at the uh, Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. And um, I told him it's legal, but he's, has, he's under a contract to install it by the janitor, who we all know hates birds. So, um, yeah. So we'll have to write Dustin an email today and tell him it's illegal. He can't do that. So uh, that's just it. Obviously, I explained to the man it's better than poisoning the birds, but um, you just can't do it. And especially now when the birds are nesting. So we'll put our food down. Uh, there goes the maintenance crew. Perhaps they. Uh, Perhaps you're going to stop for lunch soon, I think. Um, yeah. So we'll see what happens. Uh, there's nothing we... He's not... The installer is not at uh, fault. But I have to say that uh, that person who... Uh, I'm not going to name him who's the janitor of this church. Uh, he's not a good one. I mean, He's not good at all. Uh, he hates birds. So, put this down right here. And uh, we'll see if we can get a hold of Charlie. It looks like they're going to lunch now, which is super. I gotta get going too, because I just thought when I get back uh, on Wednesday, it's my mom's birthday. So I just thought of something to get her for her birthday and I gotta go. I gotta go pick it up. So, we'll see here. Of course, why why are they putting the anti-bird machine there, noise-making machine? It's because of the, uh, of the uh, pigeons. And I told him again, he should speak to the pigeon handler who lives several kilometers down the road. Wow, look at our crows up there. Look at them. But they're not coming down. Because um, there's just, there's just too much, too much going on here today. Which is really kind of sad. Because, you know, uh, I'll be leaving soon and I uh, wanted to make sure that the birds got something. Uh, that I had some time with them before I left. Because I only have this feeding and the afternoon feeding. It's probably not going to be any better when that noise maker goes off. You put in a solar panel, so it runs on solar panel, on solar energy, and uh, yeah. Well, we'll see. You can only do what you do. But we'll write Dustin. We'll tell him it's illegal. He can't do it. And uh, Otto Lang had to take his away. Negroes had to take theirs away. The Say Park here, center, had to take theirs away as well. Um, and especially during, uh, especially during nesting season. And imagine every time it flies off. Depends how loud he makes it. If it's pretty loud, I mean, think how disturbing it is to the people. It's, uh, it's crazy. But these janitors of these uh, of churches, uh, of these commercial enterprises, which at the end of the day, churches also... Um, run like a business in, in, a, in, a, in a manner of speaking. So they have to contend with expenses and so forth. And um, yeah, I mean, but it's, it's just shocking what the, uh, what the janitors of these buildings and businesses, what they, uh, what they don't know. I mean, they don't understand that the auto lang people and other people will shut down. They can't do it. I don't know where our little sparrows are. Most of all, I don't know where Charlie is. Hope our little Charlie's okay. We have this idiot here in the white truck, which is an idiot. He's chased away the birds before. There come the little ducks. There come the little ducks. Put something up here. Maybe Charlie will come here. Okay.
It is what it is. I noticed the installer's on his phone. So, um, oh, there's a bird up there. But, that's not Charlie. His legs are too short. We don't know where Charlie's going to come down. Where little Charlie is. Oh, Jeremy's already here. And we have our little pair of ducks. Wow. Look at that. Could be too hot for Charlie. I don't see Charlie. Well, there's a little malted bird. Finally seeing him. Could be Charlie's on the uh, on the field. He also has some of his treats on the field. And uh, yeah. Oh, look at these ducks. We have uh, two sets of ducks male and female, and we have Jeremy. No Seymour, not yet. So, wow, <laughs> poor Jeremy went right through the middle and caused a, look at that. <laughs> Scared the ducks, my goodness gracious. Let's put something over here. No Charlie. I hope our Charlie's okay. Let's put something over here. Maybe Charlie will come down over here. Hmm? Charlie will come down over here. Here's our Charlie. Charlie! Good boy, Charlie. Come, Charlie. Come, good boy. Come, good boy. There he is. There's my little Charlie. Hey, good boy. Hey, good boy. Yeah, look at that. Look at that, honey. Hmm? Good boy. Good boy, Charlie. Good boy, honey. Yeah, you got your sausage? Good boy. Yes, it is. There you go. There you go. Okay, guys. Charlie came down. I knew if I just, you know, be a little patient and take Charlie away from the rest of the group, um, I can always spot him out there. So. There's our little ducks. There's our little crows. Of course, we got, uh, we got a whole bunch of seed over here, but because of that truck park there, um, maybe that's not why they're getting it. But they'll find it. The pigeons will find it. So I had to take from the pile that I already made up. I'll just replace those bags uh, later today. Um, but to save time, I did it that way. Okay, I'm going to head over now to Reichenau, see if I could get my mom a pair of outdoor uh, shoes for the garden. And uh, yeah, wishing you a great day. And uh, I'll upload this this afternoon. And we'll have one more video coming, and that'll be my last. So, and I'm finishing uploading uh, yesterday's videos. This is DC Danton, and I have to answer your comments before I leave. So I got a lot to do. A lot to do. But I'll, I'll get it done. This is DC Danton Crow Crusader. Over and out. Enjoy the day.